drinking the milk and kissing the bricks and all the things that make this what it is. And that's why I think ultimately this race will just continue to soldier on. And ultimately this race carries IndyCar series, because this is the IndyCar series. And, um, you know, like you said, the TV ratings for this race have been pretty good. You know, last year, last year I thought was was pretty steady, and you know, as close to the Coke 600, which you know you're head to head with or close to, so it's always you know a good judge. And I think that's a good sign for us. And the attendance keeps going up, and you can tell because every year you come here and you do parade laps, and I'm sitting in the car and I go around, you can just see the amount of people leaning over the balconies and how full the suites are. It becomes very apparent quickly, and it seems to be getting better and better. And look, if it's a sign, I mean, Budweiser's back on board with us this year. We've done a lot of stuff, you know, activating the last couple of weeks. They haven't done that in years. Uh, you know, things are things are looking up here. Um, you know, it's you're always you're always fighting the fight, but we're all here. We all love racing in this series, and we're all here to, to uh, like said, make it as good as we can. You don't think it's just a pipe dream that if a Ray Hall or Andre wins the race, that would gin it up in the ring? I think it would help tremendously. If they were smart, they'd rig it. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Andretti, how, how would you describe the rivalry with, with Marshall? Well, I mean, there's a rivalry there, but there always has been. I said this, you know, people maybe never realize it or saw it, you know, front and center like they are now, but one thing is for sure, and that's that, you know, we're out there after each other, and we always have been. I mean, I was telling people earlier that my goal in Star Mazda before I even turned a wheel that season was to be faster than Marco in every single session. But we did it most of the time, but it was the goal, you know, and so... The way I look at it is, uh, you know, we want to beat them. And, you know, just because there's a rivalry, people are making a big stink over it. But you know what? There always has been, really. Well, rivalries are always, to my mind, you look at every sport when it was flourishing. There was, you know, any golf boys or any Jack. I mean, you go back to the I mean, Tiger and, and Phil. And Tiger. Or, I mean, you, you need that. Yeah, of course, of course. But you guys, is it? and have a long conversation with them, no, but we get along fine, you know, you're not going to see me at dinner with them anytime soon, but that doesn't mean much, so, that's what the rivalry is, it is, you're going to see my dad and Michael going to dinner, so. <laughs> so were you guys rivals before you both got in a car, like my dad can beat your dad? Oh, I don't know about that, because at that time, when my dad retired, we were pretty young. So That's pretty what I'm saying, where you, like, show up here, and, you know, you're wearing your colors, and he's wearing his colors. And... You know, I don't remember seeing Marco at the track that much as kids. The person I saw the most was uh, Al Lunter, Junior, Junior, you know, Al, and, you know, Cody Onser, and the whole, everybody there, and, you know, Marky Blundell, and some of those, those are the guys I saw. I don't remember seeing Marco like that much as a kid. Everybody's getting in on this bus trip to Milwaukee thing, though. I'm, I'm wondering how many people are. Oh, you saw Tagliani's now doing it. Yeah, Mark. exactly. What's up with that? Yeah. yeah, what's up with that? I saw that the other day. I thought, come up with your own idea. But you know what? I, I don't really care because my thing is, I didn't do it for, for me. I mean, I'm not making a penny off. I did it just trying to help the race. So Tags can get his group to come. And I got some on my bus. I don't know how many buses we've sold, but I've had a lot of people tell me they're on. <laughs> that's a good thing because that's what, you know, potentially. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe a thousand people. You know, we had 1,200 emails come when I originally announced the bust idea. You know, let's say half those sign up, max. But then tags can get some, and then you know whatever else it helps. It helps. 